Hello everyone, we will continue the topic drop down list in module pool. In the previous video, we understood the full flow in that debugging mode. And after that, what we realized whenever we are choosing the state, after that, the region values are accumulating. Now we will understand in that debugging mode how we can resolve this particular issue. Suppose I'm running the program and it's very easy in the debugging mode itself, we can identify why, why it is happening. I will run the program. I will go for running in the new window, PBO called done. First time it is working fine. Suppose I choose the state Gujarat. So we have two records into this LT data internal table. From this LT data internal table, we pass that data to LT values. If you see, we have two records in LT underscore values internal table and we are binding. Perfectly fine, no problem at all. Now I will go for other state. Suppose I am choosing Haryana. Now you can see I choose Haryana, but still this LT values and LT underscore data has the previous records as it is. Suppose Whenever this query will execute, suppose this query is executing. Whenever this query executed in LT data, we got the new records for the state Haryana. SAP simply, simply replaced the previous records with the new record, no problem. But this LT values has the previous records now I am doing F8. PBO called. Now these two records, we are appending it to LT values. Suppose this if condition true. Now these two records, we are appending it to LT values. Now third record appended. Now fourth record appended. So have you seen? The previous data is as it is, and we are inserting two more records to this internal table. That's why we are able to see four records. Suppose if I will execute, and now I will go for suppose third state, Maharashtra. So you can see the previous records are as it is in this internal table. Yes. We have the previous record in LT data also, but whenever this query executed, so we got the new records into this internal table, but this internal table has previous data. Plus we are appending new records to this internal table. So if I will go for F8, so this internal table has already four records and uh, we are appending two more records also. So whenever two more records will append, now you can see the total number of records are six. That's why we are getting the wrong output always. So what is the solution for the same? Before appending before appending the data to this internal table, we will refresh the previous values. Simply we will go for this concept. So I will go to PBO. I will go to P for PBO module. So I will simply, simply refresh the internal table LT underscore values. You can write clear also. It's totally your wish. Now I'm writing refresh LT and LT underscore values. Now I will go for syntax check and activate. Now 
I will simply put a breakpoint and show you now the result. I'll just activate. I will go to PAI. Breakpoint is there. Now I will run and show you the expected result. Firstly, PBO called done. Now I'm choosing the value. Suppose I choose Gujarat. From based upon the input Gujarat, we have two records into this internal table. After that PBO called, these two records we will pass it to LT values. As of now, LT values is blank because this is first time. Those two records we are passing to LT values. Now you can see we have two records in LT values. Perfectly fine. First time, there is no problem. We are able to see everything. Now I will go for Haryana. Now I choose Haryana. These two internal table has the previous data, but these two records will be replaced by new data. You can see these two records replaced by new data based upon the query. Now PBO will call. When PBO called, still this internal table has previous data. This if condition is true, now we are refreshing. When we refreshed, it becomes zero. And now after that, we are simply, simply appending the new data. Now, if I will just execute, and you can see, we have now LT values with the new data. And you can see, we have two new records only. If I will do F8, Perfectly fine. Now we have two regions belongs to Haryana only. Suppose if I will choose the third state Maharashtra. If I will execute. Now you can see we have the regions for the Maharashtra only. And this is the common is this is the common uh, of issues which we are facing during drop down list. Now I will go for another issue which we are facing during drop down list. Suppose I am going for Maharashtra. I'm going for Maharashtra. Suppose I'm choosing the region Mumbai. As of now, we have not chosen the region. Suppose I'm choosing the region Mumbai. Okay. Now I'm going for another state Haryana. If I will show you that drop down now, if I will show you that drop down, you can see in that drop down, we have Mumbai also, which particular region we have chosen. Haryana, two regions are coming, that is fine, but Mumbai is also coming. Suppose I choose Kurukshetra as of now. Okay. Suppose if I will go to Gujarat now, now you can see that drop down. Kurukshetra is as it is and Ahmedabad and Vadodara are there. That is also wrong. Yes. So if you are choosing a value from the drop down of the region, that value is still, still displaying there. So what we will do, whenever you are binding, whenever you are binding the values with the screen field, if I will go to PBO, Whenever you are binding the values with the screen field, before that, clear the screen field simply because we have chosen the value. Whenever we choose the value, that value is still still there with the screen field and we are going for new values also. So what we will do before binding the values with the screen field, we will clear the previous value. So I will write clear and I will write this screen field. Now it will be perfectly fine. If I will check the syntax and activate. 
we can ignore this error. It's not a concern. Now I will run and show you the expected result. Now I will show you from the starting itself, it is perfectly fine or not. I'm choosing Gujarat, perfect. I'm choosing Haryana, perfect. I'm choosing suppose Maharashtra, perfect. Now suppose I'm going for Gujarat, I'm choosing the region suppose Ahmedabad. I'm going for suppose, now I'm going for Haryana. Now you can see, we have Ambala and Kurukshetra only. Previous region is not there. Suppose if I am going, suppose I have again chosen. Suppose Kurukshetra. I am going for Maharashtra. So now we have regions for Maharashtra only. So we resolved all the challenges faced during the drop down list. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we cover two important issues which we always always face during the drop down list what is one challenge whenever you are passing the values to another drop down yes the values are accumulating so in that case refresh the internal table but the second challenge when you choose the value from the drop down what happened that value is as it is plus the additional values are adding. So we cleared simply the screen field. And it's a common challenges which everyone faced. So this is all about the topic drop down list in the module pool. So that's it in this video. Thank you.